The Planck length, this unimaginably small number in metres, you might say, well, how does that affect our everyday lives? Does it come into any calculation of a thing that we can conceive of? And there is a beautiful calculation. It's one of my favourite calculations in all of physics. It's about the mass of white dwarf stars. So what is a star, first of all? So a star is some material, it's mainly hydrogen and helium, collapsing under its own gravity. So, it's, so, so gravity is trying to squash this thing down. What holds it up? Well, as the star contracts, as it forms, the core heats up, which means that the, the hydrogen and the helium is triggering around very fast, and ultimately you, you switch on nuclear fusion reactions in the core. And the fusion reactions, in the case of our sun, hydrogen is fused into helium that releases energy, which creates a pressure which holds the star up. So the star is a balancing act. But of course that doesn't exist, it can't carry on forever, because the star doesn't have an infinite amount of fuel in its core. And so ultimately we run out of fuel and it will begin to collapse again. And then stars will start to fuse heavy elements and so on. But ultimately, you could ask the question, well, when there's no more nuclear fusion can occur in the core, what happens to the star? Does it just collapse without limit? which would be a black hole, or is there something else that can hold it up? Some other property of matter. This wonderful calculation is a calculation about what happens to electrons in a collapsing star. So it's a genuine quantum mechanical calculation. One of the properties of the universe, one of the fundamental ideas in quantum mechanics, is called the uncertainty principle. So it says that if you try to confine an electron into a smaller and smaller box, which means you're trying to measure its position, confine it and squash it down, the product of the size of the box, the uncertainty in the position, multiplied by the uncertainty in the momentum of this thing, has to be greater than Planck's constant. Fundamental property of the universe. This star's collapsing and all the electrons are getting pushed together and closer and closer together. They try to avoid each other, which is another fundamental property of quantum mechanics called the exclusion principle. And so you start to squash them. They try to get away from each other. They, get, they, they go into little boxes in the star and the boxes are shrinking. And so the electrons are getting confined and so they jiggle faster. The uncertainty on their momentum is faster and faster. And so they start to jiggle around because they're getting squashed into each other and trying to stay away from each other. So this is pure quantum mechanics. The uncertainty principle, Pauli exclusion principle. That jiggling is like a temperature in the sense it creates a pressure which can hold the star up. So you could ask, you could do the calculation, but what happens as I squash this down and the electrons start to jiggle more, they make the pressure, they hold the star up. What happens if it starts to go towards the speed of light? They can't jiggle any faster. And so ultimately there must be a limit on the pressure that these electrons in this quantum mechanical process can exert to hold this thing up. If you do that calculation, you find the maximum mass of a star, which is just a lump of matter held up by this process is 1.4 times the mass of our sun. So it's an astonishing calculation. 